You always think, one day I want to lead a Broadway show, and to say that I'm making my Broadway debut in a role that I've created, it's a dream come true. Well, I'm from Pageland, South Carolina, home of the watermelons. Being in the church and singing gospel music was always a part of my childhood. Sister Act was actually the first audition I had right out of school, and I remember getting on the bus from Pittsburgh, spending all my bartending money, because I got my bartending license that summer, and going up to um, New York to audition on the Greyhound. I was too young at that point, 21 years old, and so I was the understudy for the lead in Pasadena. I got to go on twice. It, it was just amazing to finally be on stage doing, doing this role. I did Hair in the Park. I played Dion. It was just an eight-day thing, and it became this huge, amazing thing that everyone wanted to see. And then I found out that they were thinking about taking Sister Act to London. And the director at the time, he sent me an email and he said, are you available? And I said, yes, I'm available. And he sent me another email saying, would you like to come and, and read for Dolores during this workshop version? And I said, uh, yeah, of course I would. Like, let's go. You know Auditioning for Whoopi was one of the scariest moments ever because she's someone who I've looked up to since I was a child and I wanted to have her blessing. So jump all your want, go ahead and laugh. One day you'll beg for my honor. I'm so excited. Thank you. It's gonna be wonderful. You know everything you need to know. You built the foundation. Yeah. yeah. So now you start the house start the house. Yeah. In October of 2008, my manager called me and he said, hey, are you available? Um, I said, yeah, will you come meet me at Sardi's? So I went over to Sardi's and the entire creative team and the producers were there to surprise me and say, we want you to take the role to London. And I just started crying, you know, because <laughs> it's like you wait for this moment to happen your entire life. You always dream of someone taking that chance on you. And so I did it in London for two years. I had a great time being there and just soaking it all up and making new friends and, and being part of a wonderful cast. And then cut to Broadway, I got a call and it was Jerry Zaks. And he's like, listen, I want you to take the show to Broadway. And I just kind of froze for a little bit. And you know, it was so crazy and I just, I just knew I was in good hands. So that's kind of how my journey started. She has worked so hard, and I've been very tough on her, and she has responded like a champ. Patina's a star. She is, I mean, she really is a star. I mean, when came out at the end, the room just screamed, and it was like, well, I guess she's a star now. I guess that's how that works. So my manager calls me at 8.35, and he's like, congratulations on your Tony Nom. And I just started screaming and just, thank you. You know, thank you, God. Wow, this is really happening. To have great news like that is just mind blowing. And I'm just really thankful. It's kind of weird, you know, it's kind of like a movie the way that it's all happened for me. <laughs>